going on people, welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another transfer video and we made it man, 10,000 subscribers, thank you so much, brilliant support from you lot, we went past 10,000 subscribers last night, it was a great moment, you know, um, you never expect to get to those numbers when you start the channel, you know, them first videos when you're getting 50 views, you know, you don't see it, so thank you so much for your brilliant support, as I say, I'm a man of my word, I will be doing a giveaway this month, uh, probably like a new home shirt or something. Um, it will be random as well. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Somebody who is desperate, and I mean desperate, to play for Arsenal. It's that man again, Wilfred Zaha. We were linked with him last season, of course. Unai Emery came out after he left the club and famously, you know, sort of said that, you know, he wanted Zaha ahead of Nicolas Pepe. It was somebody that he felt like could win games on his own. Mikel Arteta was quoted as speaking about Wilfred Zaha, saying he was an exceptional player. You know, high praise from him, somebody that he likes, somebody that he says he's always dangerous when you play against him. Now, Wilfred Zaha was in a nightclub over the weekend with his friends, and this nightclub's got like this illuminating board where you can put like messages on there, like birthday messages. And somebody put on this board Zaha to Arsenal, and Wilfred Zaha was kind of like pointing at it with his friends, and they were laughing. I mean, it's no secret, Wilfred Zaha is a boyhood Arsenal fan, he wanted to join Arsenal last season, and he wants to join Arsenal this season, make no mistake about it. I've got mutual friends of him, and um, you know they tell me he, he just wants to play for Arsenal, it's a boyhood dream of his. Um, it's interesting because you know when he went to Manchester United as a teenager, uh, apparently he actually turned down Arsenal to go to Manchester United at the time, and... You know, rumours were that it was kind of Alex Ferguson convinced him to go there. And Alex Ferguson left and kind of left him with David Moyes and it all went pear-shaped from there. Zaha, for me, is a fantastic player. I think he's one of those players that will do better at a better club. Um, you know, I think Mane, when he was at Southampton, people were very unsure about him. You know, he had a lot of talent, but is he a good player in Southampton? Can he do that at the next level? I think Zaha's ready to go to that next level. Now, I read a report today, a very interesting report, that seems to be stating that Willian, when he does eventually sign for Arsenal, will be playing in sort of a number 10 role rather than out wide, which would indicate there is still room for maybe a winger to come in. Um, will Arsenal sell Ag Alexandra Lacazette? He's been linked with a move to Atletico Madrid. Could we sign Zaha on the left and move Aubameyang central? Pepe on the right, Willian in the 10. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I mean, Zaha was being linked at around 70 or 80 million pounds last summer. They're now saying maybe 40 or 50 million. Uh, I think Roy Hodgson knows now that Zaha's time is up. He doesn't want to be at Palace. He hasn't been great this season. Four Premier League goals. And I think the time is up for them to cut all ties with Wilf and let him go to a bigger club. And, and I think Arsenal are interested in him. It's just whether they see it as, you know, does that 40, 50 million need to be spent in other positions? And I think the answer is probably yes. Um, let me know what you think. Would you take Wilfred Zaha? Um, or has that ship sailed? Um, you know, with us signing Nicolas Pepe now. Would you go back in for him? Or with us getting Willian, is that it? Is there no real need to bring in a winger? And would you leave this one alone? Me personally, you know, I'm a little bit greedy. I would like to see Zaha in an Arsenal shirt, but that's just my preference. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As I said, thank you for your brilliant support. The journey continues, man. And uh, would you bring Zaha to Arsenal? Let me know. Take care. Bless.